I would like to know more about that legend, if you will. Oh, my Tubi. Hey, what is up all you gamers, my name is CTGamer16, and today we are back for another episode of the Pokemon Flawless Platinum Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we got uh, from Pastoria, followed the Galactic Run, and he was like, bye, and now we're here. So that's cool. There's another spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but that only seemed to make him get angry. He's saying he will blow up the town up with a bomb. The nerve out of it all. I guess this is the guy. If only I were younger, I'd punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dragon Fang. Honestly, that ain't bad. But, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, I didn't really talk about too much. And, you know, I kind of forgot what to talk about. So I'll do some stuff after talking to this guy. This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon model. So what's it going to be? Are you going to mess with me? You dare to oppose Team Galactic? That means you're taking on the world. No, the universe. No, the world, though. Oh, he stopped time. Well, guess I'm flipped. Flipper on a Tuesday. Alright, how you doing, Galactic Grunt? You got Houndoom. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I have Draco up front, so... Oh, of course. Of course you got have Intimidate. Alright, what you got for me? Firefighting? I'm... Never mind. I was like, ah, yeah, I'm good. Beat up did nothing just now. Uh, okay. Here, I am going to... Where is my... I burn heals good. Alrighty. Yes, burn heal. Nice. Do you not have Crunch, pal? Really? Oh, it just said he has a Muck, so... Honestly, that ain't bad. I can take on Muck. He had Faint Attack this entire time and didn't go for it. Are you kidding me? Oh, and that's a one-shot. Muck is gonna be probably a bit harder to take down. You know what? Let's go for a Dragon Claw. There we go. Sandstorm. No, I don't think I will. Too much to handle, I can't do anything here. This place is nothing, I'll be happily rid of this place. Kaboom! What? <laughs> oh, you are magnificent. I'm too quite the trainer. As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm. May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver to me? That's Cynthia, she's my granddaughter. Where's the proof? This old tri charm is something made in Celestic Town long, long ago, in a galaxy far, far away. It is made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh, called Arcus. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? Let's go. Oh, wait, I thought I was going in. Are we gonna see what's his face in here? Eh? Is he not here yet? I thought what's his face pops in. Good boy, examine the ancient cave paintings. Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle. In the middle of them, a shining sphere. What is this all about? Um, who knows, bro? The cave paintings' meanings seem to be this. There existed beings, being so powerful they were considered deities at the time. There were three Pokemon with power to match at either being. The three kept balance with either being as if they formed a pyramid. Pyramid, I mean. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told in Celestic Town. I'm pretty sure this is Cyrus. Uh, okay. I would like to know more about that legend, if you will. Oh, my Tubi. Hello there, I'm Cyrus. I'm basically the villain of this game. Well, I want to put an end to this peasant stuff. Wait. 
to this uh, pointless strife and hostility. I am seeking the power to create the ideal world. Thus, I want you to answer. The world today can't change because the three Pokemon keep it in balance. Is that what you are saying? I wouldn't know. I do know the world is in, in, in balance. It's quite satisfied with the world the way it is. I'm not interested in your question. Plead ignorance, will you? What a pointless attitude. You fail to appreciate that the world is incomplete. I will change the world. As the first step, I'll destroy this cave painting that you've protected all these years. A new legend of a new world should take its place. Am I, am I wrong? If you feel that way, challenge me. Yes. Uh, I know you, trainer. We've met at Mount Coronet. Why would you want to protect this incomplete world? As the boss of Team Galactic, I will show you the error of your ways. Okay. That's neat. This actually might be a scary battle. I should have been a, maybe a bit more prepared. Oh. Okay. Well, I already need to switch, so... And I'm not even full on health. Great. Okay, uh... I guess 8 might, because fighting. Ba -ba -ba Cyrus's theme is pretty good. Okay, Ice Punch. Thank you very much. Means a lot. Yes, indeed. Alright, Mock Punch. Not sure if that will kill, but it is 4 times effective with Iron Fist. Alright, good. Good though. Alright, what's... What we got next? Huh? Eh. Murkrow, that is Dark Flying. What do I have for that? Um... Omelette? You know, I could stay just stay in. But I kind of want to not risk dying. Like, Murkrow shouldn't be able to kill me, but... You never know. This is ROM hack. Alright, Murkrow, how you doing? How's your life? Take an ice beam to the face. Maybe get a crit. A uh, Squidward. That's gonna do a lot, but I don't know if... It... And it killed. Wow, I really overestimated Murkrow. Like, Conchkrow, I could... I would definitely have died too, but... Oh, Magneton. Huh. I wonder what I can do, do to this. Whoops. Alright. Oh, Draco with the roar. Alright, how you doing, Magneton? Are you gonna get sand tombed or what? Huh? Eh? You know, I thought I was a lot lower leveled. Like, I thought I was at least on par with these guys, but I guess I was wrong. He might heal here. Would Cyrus heal? Or maybe this will just kill. That would be nice. Well, I'll just kill Sandtomb? Nope, oh, okay. Yeah, he does heal. Good to know. Alright, let's speed this up a bit then. Oh, I missed. Alright, I better not die to this. He just melts it. I'm dead. Nice. Huh. Okay. Kind of underestimated him, I guess. I should have just Dragon Cloud and not risk it. Shoot. Rest in peace, my boy Draco. Jeez. I think I'm more annoyed that I'm gonna have to grind again. Nose pass. How are you, pal? Uh, yeah. It might's mad, so he's just gonna. Merely close combat you. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's just a mere close combat. Remarkable. But Elder, your attitude told me what I need to know. If the beings of time and space are brought together, they can't be stopped. Such a strange, strange man, spouting such nonsense and killing your Draco. 
The time and space of Sinnoh are filled with the memories and thoughts of countless people and Pokemon. This is a wonderful world. What need is there to change it? Oh yes, I found something useful. You should take this. It belonged to my granddaughter, but she doesn't use it anymore. She doesn't use Surf? Why? <laughs> if a Pokemon learns Surf, it can carry you across water and the sea. You've been a great help. That's my thanks for it. Goodbye. It's sad that that could have been easily avoided by me just switching out or even just landing that sand tomb. But, yeah. Alright, I guess I have to check. Oh, hi, Cynthia. No, it wasn't all right. <laughs> you saw those strange people with the galactic bomb, didn't you? But those Team Galactic people, I thought they were harmless. The bizarre ways they dress and all their wild claims about making a new universe. I thought it was all just silly talk, nothing to take seriously, but they're surprisingly more trouble than expected. Trying to monopolize Pokemon just isn't acceptable. By the way, were the ruins fun to explore? What the heck do you mean? It's one small room. <laughs> If you're interested, there is a library in Kanalev Lava City. It's stocked with ancient books. You can look up Sao history there. It might help you complete your Pokedex too. The quickest way to Kanalev City, or yeah, it is Kanalev. Oh, Kanalev, not Kanalev. Is to go west from Jiblife. Nice. Okay. Bye now. Do I have like maybe a Quagsire in here? Because it would be nice to have a Water type, honestly. Oh wait, I have one. Oh my god. Imagine forgetting Squidward existed. Oof. Alright, well. Sorry, Draco. Rest in peace. Yikes. You know, in the long run, I really should have taught him Earthquake. Because I think he literally gets at level 70. So if he had Earthquake there, we would have killed him, but no point in thinking sure woulda coulda, you know? So who do I want? Huh. Actually, do I have a poison type? I don't remember. So, oh, I have pear, but he's not the best, to be honest. Like, he just has acid, really. Um. Yeah, I have Poison Jab on him, but I don't have a ground move. I forgot about that. I think when I get him on par, or her, I mean, sorry. When I get Queen on par, it should have a ground move. So, honestly, that ain't bad. I wouldn't be opposed to adding Queen back on the team. Alright, there we go. So, let's see... I'm going to slap Surf onto my boy. Here we go. Where is... Oh, Squidward's literally in my lead. Alright. Oh, Queen can learn it? That's still pretty weird, but... Alright, yeah. Get rid of Bubble Beam. And then I think I have an EXP share. So I'll just slap that onto Queen. There we go. Okay. Not bad. And actually, I need to take Togekiss off the team for right now, so I can fly again. Nice, my nice. Alright, well, now that that is all over, uh, I can talk about what I was going to talk about. Uh, so, in the last episode, I didn't talk about what happens in, or why I decided the Pokemon White or Emerald series would be. And reason for that is, well, I'm recording this before that episode is up. So, I don't actually know what people want the game to be. And the reason I picked white over, like, black or white is because I've already done Pokemon Black 2. So, I'm like, probably should just do black or white now. Alright, uh, goodbye, Dodrio. But yeah, so, I don't know which game I personally would- oh, I got a freeze, nice. I don't know which game I personally want to play, but eh. Eh, you know, it will be eh. 
I feel like I really suck at this game, even though I've been doing good recently. <laughs> but that's probably just because I'm overleveled. I hit out on. Honestly, might. I don't know if I want to do a grinding montage for just Nido Queen, but maybe I should. Not sure. Oh yeah, another thing. Uh, the next like three weeks of content is basically gonna be bulk cord. I also forgot to talk about this in the last episode, but uh, reason is uh, the day this is being uploaded, which should be a Wednesday, uh, the date, which is tomorrow, I think, yeah, Thursday, I should be getting um, actually my wisdom teeth pulled, so I won't actually be able to record most likely. Maybe I would, maybe I'll just be like completely fine and be like, Oh, that was easy clap, like, I didn't even feel a thing. Or maybe I'll just be like, I want to die. <laughs> so, I really just want to be prepared so I don't miss any episodes with this. So, yeah, I'm planning on recording... This is technically... Actually, yeah, I'm recording this a week in advance right now. Like, this is literally being recorded the day the black or white episode would be out. Or, not black or white, white or emerald episode would be out. So, yeah, and then I'm recording next week's, uh, tomorrow, which would be Thursday of last week for you guys. I know, confusing, but don't worry about it. Also, this isn't a new encounter, even if it was, it's dupes, I'm pretty sure. Carbos, thank you, Dark Souls. Uh, come at me, bro. Hey, hey, I'm psyched for this, here goes. Wait, what? I feel like I need a counter to something. Cause I was like, oh, I have a, I'm pretty weak to this certain type. Also, I'm weak to this type now. Cause, oh yeah, why am I fighting here anyway? I don't know, but uh, go ape my, I guess. Oh frick! Honestly, I have to. No, I'm dead. Alright, there goes Ape my Great. Just... Okay, I'm actually pretty pissed at that. I knew Lucario got me first, but I really didn't expect that. What the frick, bro? Alright, I'm going into Void and just hypnosising then. I hate this game. <laughs> I'm actually so pissed at that. I'm going to need to find a new fire or fighting type. Oh, thank you for that. It means a lot. Okay, Parago. Oh, I completely forgot he has Fire Punch. Sheet. Alright, Squidward, go. Why do you have all the punches? Stop. Stop it. Get some help. Don't go into it. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, void, I guess you're going in. Okay, now I actually need to do a grinding montage. This is just flipping great. Cheese and crackers, power trick. I don't even know what that's going to do for you, pal, but... Oh, I should have Ominous Winded. That's actually super effective. Alright, now I can stay in. Lucario should get slept. Why did me first not work with Hypnosis, but it worked with Ghost Combat? Sus. Okay, well... I'm just happy Infernape made it longer than he did in the last series, but that really freaking sucks. I was hoping I would be able to get him to the end. There's always those one episodes where everything goes wrong, and I guess this is that one. Like two of my favorite mons probably on the team, just bodied. Alright. Well. Ah, oh, frick. How do I do that? <laughs> Damn it. I don't actually remember how to do that. I think it's something in Who Boys PC. Yeah, ball capsules. Uh, remove, I guess. There we go. That's really weird that you actually have to do that. I, hopefully in the remake, you can just detach it on your way of taking it off. Because that just seems really odd. Ah, yikes. Okay, do I have a fire type? I don't think I do. Do I have a fighting type? Oh, I, I might be able to get Flareon. 
now, but huh. Yeah, I'm trying to look through everything I have. I could get Hariyama, or Hariyama, I mean, but I don't know. If I have a Firestone, then I'm definitely going with... Actually, it, I don't think it gets anything good in this game, so oof. Yeah, I don't really know. Huh. That was an oofy. That was a big oofy. You know what? Sure, we can add Hariyama to the team, I guess. Whoops. Uh, yeah, that... oof. Honestly. Um, Tokikiss is still my high level, highest level, so it's going to stay off the team while I go wherever I need to go, I guess, to grind. Because, yikes. Oh, I'll probably do it in, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's, I think, the Trophy Garden, actually, where all those chances were, because that seemed like a good place to grind. They were, like, high leveled and probably good fight so yeah it was yeah in her own all right that's fine yeah i'm pretty sad about that though <laughs> damn okay uh queen you can just not have that i guess and experience share and queen gets the lucky egg Yikes. Hmm. I can't use that. Oh, am I in the Pokemon Star? Whoops. <laughs> Here's the thing. I kind of want to just go one more episode and then see what happens because I could get something uh, in the like next route. Actually, I think it's only in that uh, cave area. Do I get a Riolu egg? I think I do. Thinking about it now, I kind of want to get Riolu then. Because if I can get Riolu, then that's probably what I want to go for. Because, yeah, steel and fighting would be nice. Also, literally a Lucario just killed me, so... Would be helpful. Um... Yeah, smack that experience share on there. Switch out bag for, uh, what, what the heck's his name? Omelette. <laughs> Yikes, don't even remember my Pokemon's name. Okay, let's see. Hariyama, get out of here. Is this good? Just looking spicy. Okay. Also, Birdo, you can stay in the back, I guess. Okay. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I still have my Surfmon, at least. Alright, well, thank you guys all for watching. Actually, I'll do that after I get past this area. That's not a bad idea. Uh, Manti- Yeah, I don't think this is a new area. Unless I just didn't get the encounter here, like, early on. Which is definitely possible, and maybe that was just my encounter. Uh, yeah, or us here. Hopefully this kills. Nice. Dugong dies ice. I'm gonna try and play it a bit more safe. So, I guess Squidward. Um, bullet seed. Why not? Okay. Yeah, this ain't gonna do anything to me. You know, dive could do some things, or not. It's really just annoying. Uh, Pelipper is left. Okay. Rock last. Nice. It didn't kill, but still nice. Die to my ice beam. All right. Yeah. This is the last trainer bell, and then I think I have a rival bell in the next one. Which, honestly, I'm realizing that's going to be definitely a yikes. Stomps, thank you very much for that, pal. I should be able to take it, but that's still going to be difficult. Uh, Jolteon, not sure why I stayed in on that. Okay. Sleep powder, and I should be fine. 
Alright, easy leaf blades. Okay. I guess there's no point in me sleep battering. Magnezone. Ha! Huh. Get this guy the frick on out of here. Wait, this... Oh my gosh. I'm saying I'm gonna play it safe and then I'm like, Oh, yep, this is a good idea. Yeah, distro... Thank god that was a crit. If that wasn't a crit, I would have lost. I'm like... Not even joking here. Magnet bomb, that's completely fine by me. Okay, I'm just gonna spam ominous ones then. To try and get buffs. Now that I've said that, I'm probably not gonna get the buff. Never mind. Nice soup. Thank you, Void. You're one Pokemon that's always actually doing pretty good. Uh, okay. Well, also what Omelette does, but... Thank you, Queen, for easily leveling up. It means a lot. Uh, okay, nothing I can do here. How you doing, Poliwhirl? Uh, why well, just air slash and go? Thanks. Alright. Oh, who the heck's this guy? Oh boy, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. Do you wonder who I am, right? I'm Professor Rowan's assistant, Dawn's father. The professor asked that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see. So I chose in this spot on a hunch that you passed through. I've been waiting here for 10 years, but don't worry about it. Well, who boy, may I have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see, was I supposed to put in the software here? Oh, yep, I think. Oh, never mind, I'll break your Pokedex. Sorry about that, pal. Well, uh, carry on. Adios, mate. See you in the next month. Hopefully, your Infernope's alive. Oh, what a dick. <laughs> Boy, sure I'm thirsty. Go get water. <laughs> Is there no restaurants in this place? Is there restaurants in any town in this game? Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> like, does the Pokemon sell human food? I would hope so. Uh, what is this? I literally don't know what this is. Skill swap. How useful. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Can I buy some Ultra Balls when I be back? Never mind. I have like a thousand. Alright. I have a lot of money. I should really be using this more. There we go. What's the side mark? Quick balls again or what? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. You know what? Sure, I'll buy like 10. I don't think any of those other ones are useful. And, you know, I'll just keep exploring these. Oh, this is move delir, I'm pretty sure. So, that's fine. This, I think, is like something to do with Darkrai, but can we actually do that in this game? Hmm. That's a good question. I doubt it, but... Well, no, you probably can, but I don't know how you would do it. Oh, hi. Where are you? Uh, what? <laughs> I heard this cool thing on the Nintendo Poke Park. Definitely what it was. Uh, who's this now? It's easy to get to Iron Island. Yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> if your Pokemon aren't, like, ready to croak. But, you know, it's, it's definitely easy. Alright, so... I can probably get rid of Pidgeotto on my team, I guess. So, yeah, goodbye, Birdo. You can just chill. Alright, thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. In the next episode, we're gonna fight the rival and hopefully not lose the lock probably should grind if I lose this next fight then probably because I didn't grind but yeah I'll see you guys in the next episode where we also probably take on Iron Island goodbye